Okay? Everybody has the sheet of paper? Everybody has? Yes? Okay, we we'll start with the sheet of paper. Okay, relax, move your, move your hands, okay? Move your arms, move your heads, please. Move your heads. And with the sheet of paper, okay? Pick up the sheet of paper in front of you, like me, okay? Follow the, follow the, the instructions, okay? Everybody, please. Jennifer, okay, thank you. You need to uh, emit my activity, okay? You need to pick up, you need to uh, up your hands, yes, like me, for this position. Okay, everybody like me. Okay, everybody like me. Follow the instruction. Me va a seguir, por favor, ya? Y va a seguir la instrucción. Usted puede verle en la segunda cámara con mi nombre. Okay, you can check in the second camera with my name. Okay, the activity. What is the activity? You need to try. You will fold down the sheet of paper like this. But, yes. But you will try with your other hand to catch the sheet of paper, yeah? But first, we have here our left hand behind our back, yes? And at the beginning, up your sheet of paper, okay? Let's start. Empezamos. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, try to catch. Okay, again, again. Repeat again. Up your sheet of paper. Yes, thank you. Fall down and try to catch. Don't worry if you don't catch. Okay? The last, the last opportunity. Everybody, try to do that. Okay? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Repeat again. Okay, here I have my sheet of paper. Excellent, congratulations. Thank you for thank you for your participation. In this case, this dynamic is to move our bodies, to wake up our minds because sometimes uh, we are stressful, yes. And we start with the class. Let me show this. Welcome to this class. In this case, I know that you are the best students of this high school. Thank you for your attention. And I hope your participation during my class, okay? We start. Please, at the beginning, I need that you register your attendance in the following link, yes? I will write this in the chat of the Zoom. Yes, I need that you register your attendance, okay? We start. Please do it. You have 30 seconds. Please. In the Google Forms, yes, you have registered your attendance, please. Okay. Don't forget your right, your name, your last name. Okay. Thank you. I am registering your attendance here in my other computer. Excellent, thank you for your attention. Okay, I have here an answer, Daniel, thank you. What else with the rest, please do it. Register your attendance, please, okay? Copy the link in your computers and uh, we we'll start, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. I have here 14 answers. Okay, do you know who is this character? Could you help me please? Christian? Okay, Richard Carapaz, thank you. Uh, who is, uh, where is from Richard Carapaz? Ecuador. Excuse me? Ecuador. Yes, he is from Ecuador. Excellent. He is an Ecuadorian, yes. And in which sport this uh, Richard Carapaz 
a practice day to day. Do you know that? Jordi, maybe? Thank you. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you. Anthony, could you hear me? Cycling. Ah, oh, yes. Cycling. Excellent. We continue. Do you know any sport in which an Ecuadorian uh, has been very successful? What is the meaning successful? This is successful, yes? When we have, for example, uh, we get a, a, a 10 in, a, in an exam, yes? That is successful. When we win something, maybe a competition, do you know another uh, people in Ecuador that is successful in other sports? Erika, do you know uh, another person? Yes, another person that is famous in other sports. No? Someone? <laughs> Brigitte? Maybe David? Jennifer? No? We have a lot of... Uh, okay. Yes, excellent. What else? Do you remember Jefferson Perez, for example? He is an athlete, yes. He runs fast. Yes, don't worry. This is easy. We have different sports, but today I, we are going to talk about cycling, about Richard Carapaz. For that reason, pay attention, please. I need that you we need that you check this part, yes, and we continue. Okay, wait. Here we have uh, some vocabulary before our reading, okay? I need that you use your pens, your your pencil in the Zoom. Yes, you have that uh, this opportunity to use this. We have four words. We have here uh, some pictograms and we have the definitions because uh, today we have a reading and it's important to understand very well the reading because you need to um, identify the main points in a short, simple text, okay? Okay, we have here, the first one is a chief. The second one is accomplishment. The third one is a spoke like. And the fourth one is ghost bumps. Okay? You have here, here. You, do you have any idea what are these? I need that you help me uh, matching with your pencil. Yes, in Zoom. The word with the definition. Yes? Use your pencils. Tenemos aquí, ¿no es cierto?, eh, unas palabras de vocabulario, vamos a entrar en una lectura. Mi idea es que usted aprenda a identificar los eh, puntos principales dentro de una lectura, pero para eso es muy importante que usted, ¿sí?, aprenda el vocabulario antes de entrar a la lectura. Para eso, I need that you, you match, yes, the word with the definition, ¿ok? Necesitamos unir, ¿sí? ¿Qué será que tengo que unir? Someone, could you help me, please? Melanie, maybe? Do you understand? Christian, do you understand? No? Okay, I explain again. Don't worry. But, but tell me, please, teacher. Okay, Brianna Arcos, please help me. Is it going on world's books? Con and temporary condition in which small bones appear of the skin because of cool fear of exit. Excellent, excellent. We need to match the word with the definition. Tenemos que unir la palabra con la definición. But we have some um, 
We have some pictures that help you, yes? What is goosebumps? In this case, Brianna told us that goosebumps is a temporary situation. Do you remember when something is happening and you say, oh my God, what happened with my skin, yes? David, David, please, uh, could you match with your, with a line in the Zoom, please? Podemos usar los lapicitos, ¿no, chicos? Para, eh, ¿no, chicos? Para usar, eh, para unir la palabra con eh, la definición que corresponda. Please, David, do it. Ok, thank you, Jordi. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Another, another students, please. Eh, Try to read. Sería con, sería con the focus or center of attention. Yeah, a spotlight is the focus or center of attention. Excellent. Could you match, please, with your pencil? No sé cómo la verdad. Ah, ok. Tenemos un lapicito, ¿no es cierto? Excellent, Brian Arcos. Thank you. Un lapicito. Usted va a la parte superior o inferior, ¿sí? Ahí dice, eh, le da las opciones y le da un lapicito que dice anotar. Ahí usted le puede dar clic y podemos usar el lapicito del Zoom para que eh, podamos hacer el ejercicio. Yes, excellent. But what is an accomplishment and what is an spot like? Yeah, thank you, Christian. What happened? Jordi. Uh, spoiling iría con el primero en definición. Ok. Okay, we have here, let me check. Um, here we have a accomplishment, yes, with the first definition. Let me correct this part, okay, don't worry. Excellent, please do it, help me please. Yes, accomplishment like Jordi Santa Cruz told us is something done through hard work and efforts. Please do it. Could you help me someone? Please, please, don't be shy, please, don't be shy. Relax, this is only an English class. Mateo Ortega, please, could you help me? Match, please, accomplishment with the definition, yes? Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Mateo. We continue, Ronald Pinar Taxi, yes, do it, you can do it. Excellent. What will, uh, what did you understand about this? A chip, for example, is when we are in a competition and we uh, get the trophy about this, yes? An accomplishment is when we have the trophy in our hands, yes? Something done through our effort. What is a spot like? A spot like is like this, yes? We have three persons here, but only one is the first one. That is a spotlight. And goose bumps is like this. When my when I have my skin and I am scaring about that, or maybe I am surprised about that, my skin is a start um like the chicken. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. We continue. We start with the reading, but I need your help. But I have some tips for you. What are these tips? Okay. Uh, before uh, reading, we need to understand what, that we need to find the main idea. Remember that the, the main idea is commonly in the first paragraph, okay? Um, if you read, yes, pay attention or notice something that, uh, while you are reading, okay? And um, you need to know that the supporting details generally are in the paragraphs below, okay? Consider that. We continue. We have the reading here. Please, I will, uh, I say, okay, we need to read this. Don't worry if you don't understand uh, everything. Sí, vamos a empezar con la lectura. No se preocupe si usted no entiende algo. Yes, ya tenemos la idea primero, ¿no? Ariana Zambrano, please, could you help me, please, with the first paragraph? Leo todo el párrafo. Yes, please, do it. Ecuador doesn't have a great sibling culture. 
But a look at the front page of many newspapers left so though that Richard Carapaz, the locomotive of Carchi, become an Ecuadorian legend, the athlete from Carchi achieved great status when he won the 2019 yeah. Euro de Italia a tremendous accomplishment achieved proud hard work and dedica dedication. He gave the Ecuadorian people God's verbs and made his nation proud. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. Please, Selena Tierra, could you help me with the second paragraph, please? The Ecuadorian government nation with been a grant to brought the final race live on television by a scarf were full by six and principally Karchi Carapaz from province in Quito around um, five Okay, five. Continue, please, Melanie Valladares. Here, I don't know what happened with your friend, yes? With five. With five, friends go to get on their own capacity, accomplishment, gladly, and the attention of the entire nation where Thank you, thank you, Melanie. Good job. Okay, we yes, we at the beginning we start reading this part, yes, and we have this. Ecuador doesn't have a great hiking in culture, but a look at the front page of many newspapers left not that that Richard Carapaz the locomotive of Karchi became an Ecuadorian legend. The athlete from Karchi achieved great status when he won the 2019 Giro d'Italia. A tremendous accomplishment achieved through hard work and dedication. He gave the Ecuadorian people gas bombs and made his nation proud. The Ecuadorian government negotiated with ESPN and agreed to broadcast the final race live on televisions, parks and squares. Were full but 6 a.m. principal in Karchi, Carapaz home problems. In Quito, around 5,000 fans got together to cheer on Carapaz. His accomplishment clearly caught the attention of the entire nation, where cycling had never been in the sport like. Okay, we, as, we as start with your comprehension. What did you understand about this reading? ¿Qué entendimos de esta lectora? Okay, let's go. Natalie Bustos, could you help me, please? Que la locomotora Carchi se, se convirtió en una leyenda ecuatoriana. Okay, the locomotive of Carchi became a legend in Ecuador. Yes, excellent. We have uh, Wellington. Could you help me with another idea? Que ganó la competición de Italia. Okay, the Giro d'Italia. Uh, Richard Carapaz won the Giro d'Italia. In which year do you listen that? ¿En qué año? ¿Escuchó usted eso? Uh, sí, um, 2019. Uh, okay, Wellington. Christian, uh, could you help me with another detail about this reading? No? Okay, don't worry. Ariana Zambrano, could you help me with another uh, detail? Uh, it's the Carchi. 
Yes, he is from El Carchi. Gabriel, do you have another detail of this reading? Eh, cuando ganó, eh, puso la piel de gallina todo el, el color. <laughs> that is ghost band, yes. La piel de gallina, that is typical. Like the chicken, yes, we start with our skin, yes, with the special characteristics. Excellent. Daniel Bulls, could you help me with other uh, detail that you understand about this reading? Okay, he was born in Ecuador. Good, uh, good idea. Ronald Pilataxi, could you help me please with another extra idea? No? No, okay, don't worry. Brian Arcos. Y lo que entendí era que el negocio, eh, Ecuador había negociado para que la carrera final se pueda transmitir en vivo en los canales. Yes, yes, of course. That was a, a business, yes, it's like a business here eh, in Ecuador. We have the Teleamazonas, Ecuavisa, yes. And in this case, this this company ESPN is like this and they uh, permit to transmit by television to uh, the government yes to uh, because people wants to watch this competition and for that reason they help us with with that form thank you okay we continue with the class but please here I have an exercise, yes? We have here two questions about the main ideas, yes? Because we need to identify. The first topic is, what is the topic about? Richard's accomplishment in Italy? Maybe Richard's family support in Italy? Or maybe Richard's business in Italy? Could you check, please? Erika Intriago, could you help me, please? You have in the Zoom uh, the pencil. Could you use the pencil to uh, maybe to check this part? Maybe to you can uh, tick, yes, this part. No. Okay, Mateo Chacha, please help me. What is the uh, what is the topic about? De qué estamos hablando? The first, the second one, or the third option? Okay, thank you. Richard's accomplishment in Italy. That is the, uh, an excellent answer. And we need to continue with the second one. Okay, let me know. How do you understand this reading? Melissa Quiroz, please. What is the main idea of the article, okay? Please read in a minute, okay? Read the options that you have and help me. Okay, Brian Arcos, thank you. Richard won the Giro d'Italia getting the attention of Ecuadorians in 2019. Excellent. But in your own words, what is the main idea according to you? In sus propias palabras, could you help me with an idea, with the main idea, con la idea principal, in sus propias palabras, yes? Could you help me with that? But in English, please, try to speak in English, yes? Jennifer Harrin? Could you try? You can do it, you can do it, don't forget that. In your own words, in sus propias palabras, okay. Think, organize your ideas, please organize, and try to tell me what is the main idea, okay? Organize, organize.
Are you ready? Okay, one minute, please. Let me count. Okay, Jennifer Harin, help me. Okay, now I need a volunteer. What is my superhero today, please? What is the main idea in your own words? Okay, en sus propias palabras, ¿cuál será la idea principal para usted? Diana Muñoz, could you help me, please? Okay, don't be shy, please. I have here a, a Melissa Quiroz, yes? Okay. Let me help you. Vamos, permítame ayudarle. We started uh, at the beginning, uh, we started to check in some vocabulary, yes? Al inicio empezamos chequeando un vocabulario. Then we uh, have read the text. Luego hemos leído el texto, ¿no es cierto? Then you told me uh, some details. Luego ustedes me dijeron algunos detalles, ¿no es cierto? With that details, with those details, con aquellos detalles, you can um, do a sentence, a simple sentence, and tell me the main idea. But I need that you talk in English, ¿ok? Con esas ideas, sí, quiero que arme usted, ¿sí? ¿Cuál será para usted en una frase cortita? Don't worry if you commit a mistake, yes? Arme, por favor, una idea súper cortita. Ok, Briana Arcos. Oh, um, achievement in Ecuador. Yes, uh, the achievements in, in this case in Ecuador, yes, for Ecuador is very, very important. Another volunteer, please. No? Okay, don't worry, my dears. Don't worry. We continue with the class, but please try to analyze uh, the information. Maybe don't be shy. If you don't worry, if you uh, if you are not correct, yes, because it's important to to learn. That is important. Yes. We continue. We have the next. The next. Ah, ah, I have some questions for you. Yes, maybe or true or false. Excuse me. I have some questions. Could you help me, please? I will do you some questions and you need to tell me the answer. Maybe if it, if it are true or false. Yes. The next names. Uh, of, in this case, Richard Carapaz is locomotive of Karchi. Yes. Know that? Yes. yes, true, yes. What is the meaning of locomotive of Karchi? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significará? In your own words, ¿qué significará en sus propias palabras? Locomotive of Karchi. Lo llaman la locomotora en el Carchi. Yes, locomotora del Carchi, sí, porque, exactly. Um, but what is the definition for locomotora? Why locomotora and maybe, why no, maybe a car of Carchi, but why locomotive of Carchi? ¿Por qué locomotora del Carchi? De Dios de Mini. Excuse me, Anthony. Porque son muy veloces. Yes, because he's very fast. Okay, he's fast. Yes. Another question. Uh, do you understand um, that the people support or not support to Richard Carapaz? Mm. 
repeat, please. Okay. Yes, could be. Okay. We, re we read again this part, okay? Because we need to understand more for the next questions. Okay, here, I have it. We need to read again, okay? This part, please. Uh, I need that, please, Alex Tuakisa, could you help me, please? We start to reading again, because I need that you help me with your ideas, help me with the answers, okay? We need to understand very well the reading, yes? Alex, please, help me again, please. Leo. Yes, please. Ecuador doesn't have a great and cycling culture. But a look at the front page of many newspaper left on left no doubt that Richard Carapaz, the locomotive of Carchi, become an Ecuadorian legend. The athlete hey, form. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What do you understand these parts? Okay. ¿Qué entendimos solo de esta pequeña partecita? The first one. Que, que Richard Carapaz le dice en la locomotora. Ya. Richard Carapaz es la locomotora del catch. Perfect. Excuse me. Es una leyenda ecuatoriana. Yes, he's a legend. Yes, because of his achievement. Thank you. We continue with, please. Gabriel Ronquillo, could you help me, please? The second one here. This only this sentence. The afternoon from Karchi Atus when he won he in Tiro de Italy at tremendous accomplishment, achieved through hard work and dedication. And dedication. Okay, what do you understand about this? ¿Qué entendió solo de esta partecita de aquí? Que es del Carchi. Mm, ya, yeah, es del Carchi. En 2019, Giro de Italia. Exactamente, ganó obviamente el Giro de Italia en 2019. Excellent. He won the Giro, eh, the 2019 Giro de Italia, yes? The next one, this is this is so important, yes, we have here. Please, Brigitte Monroy, please help me with the reading. We have the Ecuadorian people who see booms and made his nation proud. Okay, Brigitte, do you remember what is the meaning gas bombs? Gas bombs? Do you remember? No, what did you understand, Brigitte? He gave the Ecuadorian people gas pumps and made his nation proud. Melanie Tellio, what do you understand? Okay, Brianna, help me, please. Se le puso la piel de gallina y está orgulloso de su nación. Yes, people, of course, for us, this is an important, important thing for Ecuador, especially, because at the beginning, Ecuador, okay, personally, I didn't believe in, in cycling, maybe in this kind of sports. But when Richard Carapaz won, okay, people was very happy. People, um, in this case, pe uh, people has his ghost bombs, yes, and make his nation proud, yes, and say, everybody say, hey, Richard Carapaz, congratulations, yes. We continue. Ronald Pilataxi, help me, please. Uh, Leo. Yes. But pay attention, yes, because you will have a question. The Ecuadorian government nego negotiated with 
S C E E no E S P N and agreed to broadcast the final race live on television. Yes, <laughs> excellent. What did you understand? ¿Qué entendimos? Que la carrera se transmitió por televisión. Muy bien, gracias. Excellent. Okay. And finally, we have here this part. Anthony Yap, please. Parks and squares where fall be 6 a.m. Principally in Karchi, Carapaz, home province. Okay, what happened? What happened in his province? ¿Qué pasó en la provincia de él? ¿Qué entendió? Él participaba. Ok, eh, don't be shy. A ver, empezamos. In order, please. Christian Manja, ok. Los parques y estaban llenos. Ya, las plazas estaban llenas. La gente, el people get together, sí, la gente se unió, especially in Karchi. Y a las 6 de la mañana, ¿no? 6 a.m., la gente estuvo, pero... When you watch a soccer game, yes? Y between Ecuador and Brazil, for example, everybody is paying attention to the, to the soccer game. It's like this, yes? In this car. Parks and Square start to this. And finally, we have here... If a lot of people, especially in Quito, go together and start to cheer on Carapaz and say, yes, Carapaz. Oh, OK. Ahora sí, que ya hemos revisado otra vez. We read again. Ahora sí, in your own words, what is the main idea for you? ¿Cuál es su idea para usted? OK, don't worry if you use Spanglish, maybe, yes? The Ecuadorian Richard Carapaz won a medal when in 2018 here in Italy. Good idea. Thank you. Congratulations. An excellent idea. That is the main idea. Okay. We um, we have studied about the main ideas, yes, of a text. What are the important aspects that you need to consider of this? ¿Cuáles son esos aspectos importantes que usted necesita identificar para entender la idea principal de un texto? ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay, what are, yes, the, what are the principal ideas that you have in your mind to understand a text? ¿Qué entendimos ya? Vamos concluyendo, sintetizando. ¿Qué debo hacer yo para poder entender un texto? What, eh, what we need to do? ¿Qué necesitamos hacer? Encontrar la idea principal. Ok, pero ¿cómo la encontramos a la idea principal, Ronald? Leyendo y buscando la parte que tenga más verbos. O que um, diga más cosas. Yes, could be. Is near. Excellent. It's important to understand all the reading for completely. Es importante leer, eh, entender la lectura por completo, por completo. No. No. Yes. ¿Qué pasará si, si uh, what happens if I don't understand something? ¿Qué pasará si yo no entiendo algo? Me guío por las palabras que sé. Yes, we need to understand you. We have vocabulary and then we have the main idea of this. What happened with the supporting details? ¿Qué pasa con los detalles que vienen ya después de la idea principal? ¿Dónde están ellos? Where are they? No? 
Hemos hablado, ¿ya? Yes? We talked about Richard Carapaz, his locomotive of Carchi. That's all, all of the details of the reading, yes? We have some characteristics, like you told me, yes? Hemos hablado de algunas características, hemos hablado, por supuesto, de las ideas que ustedes me dijeron, ¿sí? Esos son los detalles de soporte o los detalles que nosotros tenemos dentro de la lectora, ¿ok? Finally, finalmente, I need that everybody stand up again, ¿ok? Necesito que todo el mundo se pare otra vez, Yes. We continue with the exercise. But please, I need your sheets of paper, ¿ok? Because we need to finish the class. With this part, ¿ok? We have the sheet of paper. Yes, we have here the sheet of paper. Everybody, yes, everybody stand up, please. Relax, relax, because the class, we will, uh, we, will uh, we will find the class, yes, but please, everybody with the sheet of paper. We have another exercise, yes? Do you have the sheet of paper? Let me check here. Oh, okay, Jennifer, everybody. Follow my steps, please, because we need to refresh our minds and we need to conceptualize all that we uh, studied today, okay? Everybody like this, yes? Hands up with the sheet of paper, the boat turns up, yes? And we start. What will you do? We start, empezamos, no? Follow me. You need to do this, please fall down and you need to do this. Yes, and you need to cut the sheet of paper. Repeat again, repeat again. Yes, excellent. Repeat again. Yes, don't worry if the sheet of paper, if you don't catch the sheet of paper, yes? Repeat again, repeat again. One, one, more, one more time, please. Okay, everybody, thank you. Let me check. David Gualotuña, okay, excellent. Try again. No, <laughs> don't worry if you don't catch the sheet of paper. Okay, you have here. Okay, sit down. <laughs> we, as, we conclude with our English class, please. Don't forget that you uh, to register your attendance. I will copy again the, um, the link to register the attendance. Please do it because it's important to me. Congratulations, class. I know that sometimes it's difficult to understand English. I know for the new teacher is uh, sometimes, oh my God, where is the teacher? What happened? Thank you for your attention. Thank you for all uh, your participation. Congratulations, continue with your studies. Um, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye, my dear students. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank bye, you. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye.